moving from the hind end, you know, you get them rhythmic from the hind end. Then you ask them to go into a frame. You bend them left. You ask with the outside rein. If he goes too deep, you can push him up if that's what you want. But then he gets in his uncomfortable, unhappy place. So you got to ask him to go back down again. Lower. Lower, lower, lower. You need to bend him left. Bend him left. Bend him. Good. And there. That's his happy place. Okay. He needs to develop the muscles in his happy place and then push him up. So anyways, let's go ahead and mm -hmm. <laughs> pick up the trot. They're all so complicated. Good. So he's above the bit. He's against you. Yep. So what, what's your goal here? Yeah, get him round, get him in his happy place, which is down, right, stretch there, and a little bit lower. Remember, he's got to go down and round. Lower, 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 lower. There, and even lower. And if he gets quick, you need to slow your posting. Right, he's still too up in the neck. This horse is not really ready to come under and up because he's not comfortable yet here. Right, now this is better, right, good. And he can even go further down. Right, another inch or two down to get him in his happy place. Come on, inch or two down, let him, let him go lower. Down, right, you haven't let him there. Easy, there, that's okay, easy. And slow your posting when he gets quick. Right, still need, see, now he's back up. <laughs> so your first immediate goal, so let's face it, when you went to the right, it was really good. Yeah. Okay, but he's not as good to the left as he is to the right. Oops, right, it's always, yep, good. Good, and down, down, up. Let's get on the correct diagonal. And let's get him lower, another four or five inches lower. Just like you're asking him to stretch in, you know, down and out. There, down and out. But don't let him go down and out. You want, down and out would be two or three feet lower, right? Good. You want him to go four or five inches lower. Right, you can go forward with your elbows. Yes. Right, you have there. Good. Now he looks like incredible. Okay? Right. So this is Sam down and round. Okay? Is he behind the bit? Yeah. <laughs> is he round? Yeah. Is he connected? Yeah. <laughs> So these are the things that we want before we could do anything else, right? So now let's let him go all the way down. Good, slowly. If he gets quick, we slow our posting because we don't want him to get quick. Easy, good. Right, the minute, like, good, and you open your fingers, yeah. So we have to be very diligent. I mean, one, he's a thoroughbred. Stella's a quarter horse, easy, that's right, good. Yeah, you're allowed to fix him. Okay, so, yeah. Right, you can widen your hands, you can spread them, you can bend your elbows. What you're doing is pressing your hands down there. Good, good, and, and this is a much better trot. So anyways, we're gonna gradually bring them up, we're gonna put them together, shortening the left rein, hee-haw, right? It's a lot of horse, good. And we're gonna, good, get them, get them lower, two, three inches lower, right, down, lower, Yep, you can go forward with your hands. Yeah, don't keep shortening the reins. You keep shortening the reins, you keep shortening his neck. He can't get a lower, longer neck. Good. There. And then you can feel his back. Easy. Good. So let's go ahead and we're going to ride large towards B. And then we're just going to ride a half circle back. This is where Sam needs to be for now in his training. Because, I mean, look at him. He's not even tracking up. Okay? He's good. And I tell you, I wouldn't ask him to go more forward because he's just going to get quicker. So you're going to ride your half circle back. He needs to get comfortable and relaxed in a frame. Good. Half back. Yeah, half circle back. Okay. That means you're going to go over there. Okay. Good. And then you change your diagonal and you change your positioning. That's a full circle. Yeah, like, you know, some people call it a teardrop. <laughs> Remember, I call it the ice cream cone. So here's your scoop of ice cream. And now you're going to ride the cone, which is like a diagonal line back to the railing. Right? And, then, and of course, he fell apart. <laughs> so we want you to be able to go from the changing direction without him falling apart. 
Okay, so we're just gonna put them on a circle to the right here because we want you to see how much easier he is to ride to the right, there, right. Okay, so you need to ask, you know, what's the foolproof way to put the horse on the bit? Flex. Stretching. Stretch. Yes, good, there, that's his happy place. Yeah, feel him on the outside rein, good. You can open the right rein, good, good. So he's pretty happy here, right? Yeah. And he's not tracking up, so that means he's not using his back. Okay, go straight ahead but he's much happier here. Okay, and you're gonna ride a half circle back. So you're gonna think here, stretch, half circle back. Right, a little opening inside rein. Right, good, just keeping the rhythm, keeping his head down. Then you change your diagonal and track left. Good. So our first, one of our immediate goals is to try to get, be as happy going left as he is going right. Well, think about it. If we have a, a one-sided rider riding the horse regularly, <laughs> right, which most humans are, good, this is good. So he's, he's already better to the left, right? Yes. Correct? Good. And let's let him go all the way down. So that's one of our wee <laughs> First things in training the horse, get him to go as good to the left as he does to the right, and as good to the right as maybe the horse does to the left. So then you're gonna go ahead and gather him back up. Easy, All right, try not to press the hand down. <laughs> yeah, good, very good, good. That was a nice half hold. Get on the correct diagonal. I don't know if it was intentional. <laughs> so, let's, so now he's good, right? See how low he is? And he is say, saying, I wanna go down. And you're saying, no, I'm gonna, just gonna keep you here. Right, and every now and then he comes against you and you fix it, you know, because it's hard to be at 100%. Good, so he needs to go, uh, needs to develop a longer stride and be comfortable in his work. Hard, hard thing for him, right? Good, good. And he needs to learn how to be in a frame and packaged without resenting it. So there's a couple things that he has to learn how to do. So we'll just slow our posting and we'll allow him to walk. And you're gonna think here, Sam, stretch down. Try to stay soft in the contact. Good, not bad. And then we'll throw him away. <laughs>